get the ball rolling here, can we just take just a few minutes to appreciate some of the epic that has occurred this week in the trailer department? Take a peek. Deepest, darkest secret? Dude, uh, come on. I think you're overreacting a little bit. You must be so embarrassed! <laughs> do me! Do me! Do me! Does Liz get a new top? No. We've seen that before. Never with that skirt. She probably stops staring before it gets creepy, though. Yeah. Oh. Alright. That's not a hug. I'm just grabbing the door for you. Alright, kid. Good luck out there. Truly amazing, all around, epicness. There's just no words to describe some of the awesome that is gonna be coming out next year. That's probably the shittiest thing about all these trailers is that they're not coming out till next year. Um, during this episode, we're gonna kind of break down a little bit some of those trailers, the good, the bad, there's really not bad. Again, just the time that we have to wait forever. First and foremost, let's break down the Mummy trailer. We got a reboot coming out next year, obviously with Tom Cruise, some other people that I don't really know who they are, but the trailer looks good. But I don't know because it is a reboot, of course, and obviously this last year, 2016 alone, we've seen a lot of reboots that have actually taken a big shit all over their previous counterparts. Ye we not forget, Senor Brendan Fraser, and the ending of his career with what was known as the Mummy 3. Abominable snowman! The Tibetans call him Yeti! As you can see, there's a perfectly good explanation as to why his career ended. The reboot, of course, is Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, Scientology, he knows everything. Maybe it's good. I don't know. Scientology says that everything was crazy. So, we'll see what happens there. Um, next up, of course, we have got the Transformers 5 trailer. Uh, the Last Night coming out next year. Now, Regardless of if you enjoy Michael Bay or if you don't enjoy Michael Bay, you can't deny that he does give you a show. Uh, and according to this trailer, odds are we're going to get to see Unicron. Uh, if you don't know what Unicron is, he's a really bad guy. Uh, so we will see how that rolls into these next movies. Coming from uh, Transformers 4, for those of you that haven't seen it, um, it's got to be better than 4, it's got to be better than 3, it's got to be better than 2. Number 1 was good. When they did number 1, that was phenomenal. And then, of course, they decided to bring out sequels, which I could keep going, but I won't. So, if you want to know what happens in Transformers 4, grab a toy, like Doctor Who, Sonic Screwdriver, and then grab the previous 
doctor's screwdriver. Mash them together for two and a half hours. Just like this. That's Transformers 4. It's literally three hours of robots fighting one another. There's no story. There's no plot. There's no acting. Even the CGI was a little meh. Uh, rest in peace. Letter Nimoy, who voiced... I forget what his name was, but anyway. It was shit. So, Transformers 5 has a lot to live up to. Optimus Prime in the trailer, of course, is fighting Bumblebee. Why he is fighting Bumblebee? I have a theory, which I will express in another show. But now on to the quality trailers that we got to see this week. And of course, number one being Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I mean, that two minutes of trailer was everything the fans have ever asked for. Uh, you've got a baby Groot. You have no idea what the story is about. Uh, you're bringing back all your favorite characters. Gamora, obviously Star-Lord, Ra Rockets, Baby Groot again. Um, you know what, let's just pause for a moment. Watch the Baby Groot scene real quick. Now repeat back what I just said. I am Groot. No! No, that's the button that will kill everyone! Try again. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. No! You have an atomic bomb in your bag, and if anybody's gonna have tape, it's you! I have to do everything! You are wasting a lot of time! That's a really bad sign. It's epic. Uh, I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. I mean, it's just perfect. I don't, and again, I'm going back, I'm just repeating myself. I have no idea what the story is going to be on this movie, um, but that two minutes, it just brings you so much joy and happiness because of what the first film did. And if you haven't seen the first film, I literally have friends who have not seen that first Guardians of the Galaxy movie. It is ranked probably top three best Marvel films out there. Watch this movie. It is phenomenal. So the fact that we get a sequel next year is just, oh, I can't wait. That's probably... Guardians is definitely probably going to be number one as far as what I'm looking forward to most in a year. Logan, of course, Star Wars, of course, Spider-Man, which we're going to talk about in just a moment. Um, Pirates is coming out next year. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff, but anyway. Anyway, so much awesome is coming out next year. I cannot wait. Uh, totally left field topic. WonderCon tickets are on sale right now. Get them now before they sell out. Yours truly has got his three-day pass. Anybody that wants to go with me, let me know. Um, but to kind of wrap this episode up, of course, tonight we had, or tonight, tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, we got to see the first Spider-Man trailer. Ah, it's so beautiful. Uh, it literally gets you emotional because of how finally we get to see Spider-Man the way he should be. And yeah, that's a big fuck you to Sony for screwing up Spider-Man. Uh, you can do yourselves a favor, Sony, and if you'd like, please give X-Men and please give uh, Fantastic Four back to Marvel. Please let them take control of it because you have shitted all over those franchises too long, far too long. So the fact that Marvel has now picked up Spider-Man truly is going to blow the nerd verse up even more. And we saw it again with less than two minutes of trailer. Uh, you've got Tom Harlan, Harlan, whatever his name is, as our new Spider-Man, our new Peter Parker, and he did in Civil War two minutes and became everybody's favorite Spider-Man. If he's not your favorite Spider-Man, there's something wrong with you. There's really something wrong with you. He's young. He's, he wants to be more than what he is, of course, because of his power. 
but we finally get that story that we all deserve and the trailer looks amazing Michael Keaton aka Batman as the vulture looks scary it doesn't look cheesy it looks real it looks perfectly built into that Marvel Universe and as we're gonna see next year or I think it's in a couple years maybe two years we're gonna see the next Avengers film which everybody will be together so again it looks fantastic and the end of that trailer the end of the trailer. Can we just take one, just two seconds, take a look at the end of the trailer. Of course, you can't have this movie without the Iron Man, aka Robert Downey Jr., aka Tony Stark. Tony Stark is what made Spider-Man who he is from the outside. Obviously, it's Peter Parker who's from the inside. But you know what I mean? So, clearly, again, Marvel knocking down the park because they're bringing these characters together, they're merging them into their own solo films. <sighs> so amazing. Um, so I'm going to wrap this episode up again. It's been an incredible week with trailers. So looking forward to these movies that are coming in the future uh, next year. Star Wars is next week and yours truly has a record to beat. Uh, I saw The Force Awakens 44 times. I saw Revenge of the Sith 66 times because I figured Order 66. Uh, and those are in theaters. So my record for Rogue One is going to be 70 times. And Regal passed out those uh, unlimited pass deal things where unlimited viewings. And I figured, why not? 70 times free unlimited passes to the movie theaters? Oh, look, I'm off work at 6 o'clock. I wonder what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go see Rogue One. It's gonna be great. So I'll keep everybody posted on that. It'll be kind of fun just to see if I can hit that. But there will be a review for Rogue One. Likely gonna be some spoilers. So do yourself a favor. Please watch, but maybe not next week or whenever I get the review out because I will spoil this shit out of that movie probably. It looks phenomenal. I cannot wait uh, to see that movie. I have to give a shout out to one of my best friends, a brother. Uh, Mr. Ronnie Diaz, who of course helped make this new intro for Spot of Nerd. I could not have done it without you, so my many thanks to him and the work that he did for that. We're going to try some other things later on in the, in the future, uh, so stay tuned for that. That'll be kind of cool. And then of course, the usual spiel. Follow me on the Instas, follow me on the Twitters, follow me on Facebook, follow me on YouTube, of course, right here now. Tell me your questions, give me your comments. Criticism is okay if it's done respectfully. You know what happens if it's not. And trust me, please try because I will destroy you. Um, with that being said, it's been a great week. Uh, keep watching Spot of Nerd. And thank you all again for all the support. If I do not see you before the holidays are over, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. All the other happy things that you celebrate and we'll see you next time guys later